Oh, hello, this is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. Today, we're out here in part of the Bald Mountain Recreation Area. We're checking out a little pond uh, that my dad told me about. There's actually a little section under a bridge, but my dad told me this section should be really great for panfish, maybe some bass if I can find them. Uh, so, you know, I've been waiting the rain out. It's still like thundering in the distance a little, but I think I got a couple hours I can sneak in here and try and get some fish. Thanks for joining me. Got the drone put away just in time. It's starting to rain again, but that's not going to chase me back, man. I want to find some of these fish. I've seen fish jumping out here the whole time I've been paddling. I know there are fish in here. Just got to find them. Oh, there's the rain. That's nice. Well, something just yanked my pole halfway across the boat and ate half my worm. So I think I'm going to stop screwing around with the bait caster and just focus on this worm stuff, man. Because I would love to catch a fish on camera for you guys. Since we don't do that as often as we should, considering how much we fish. Of course, you know. Gotta catch fish before we can catch fish on camera. Oh, let's give it a try, eh? I do that too much. I need to figure out why I do that and stop doing it. Maybe I cast too hard. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just bad. Maybe I'm just bad at this. Are you kidding me? Something ate more worm. I know, I know. Being out in the thunder and lightning is stupid, but I've seen fish at this point. There's like beautiful rainbows and stuff. The lightning's all far away, I tell myself. So the rain is picking up a little. So is the sunshine. So there. The rain has really gotten rid of the mosquitoes, though. I do appreciate that. You know, on the plus side, statistically, from our viewers, it seems like everybody likes watching me suffer anyway, so... Our ratings should be through the roof, a video of me sitting through the rain for three hours to not catch fish. And my worm's gone. How does that even... How do I keep doing that? I'm just saying, I can see what our fans like. So I know. A video of me in the rain, complaining, not catching the thing I'm looking for. Through the roof, I'm telling you. Ah, uh, there we go! That's not even a bluegill. Here's sunfish. Oh, look at that! Well, now this video is not going to do Because I caught a fish. But you know, if 
I died of a lightning strike. That would probably do really well. So, sorry guys. I did catch the one fish. I know there are fish here. This is all the time I had for the day, so... <laughs> I think I should paddle out while I can, right? Oh, but there are fish. But the storm. We're gonna have to paddle right through where there are fish. One more cast. One more cast. I still... Ah, look at that! I can't help myself, man. Little tan fish are like a addiction. There we go. Out of, out of the water in the bottom of my boat. Look at that. They're pretty and dark. Okay, bud, let's see if we can do it again. Ah! God, he was right. So my dad was totally right. You can catch these little fish all freaking day in here. You should be able to see those little burgers striking. All right, we're staying out. I don't care. It's not raining. There's a beautiful rainbow. We're going to keep going. I'm going to try a new worm. I'm gonna hook it the same though, because that was clearly my problem, was just hooking my worms crappy. Well, besides, you know, that was my problem besides being a poor fisherman. Not poor, but bad at it. And hooking the worms wrong. That. Hooking the worms wrong and being bad at this. It can be both. Why shouldn't it be? There, we hooked it up through the body. I don't know if anyone actually wants to see a worm massacre, but there it is, you know, there's a worm. Got him. There we go, that's that little bugger. Finally. Oh no, oh no. Here we go. What's that, like four? This is great. The weather's cleared up nice. I'm gonna paddle over to where I've been seeing these fish jump. See if I can uh, maybe find a bigger fish, I guess. Because if there's fish, if the fish jumping are clearly not these little fish. Oh, that's a slightly bigger one of those sunfish, though. Look at that. Jesus. Calm, calm down, friend. Look at that. Gorgeous fish. I'll hold it real close to the camera. Does it look bigger? Here you go, friend. Got him. I mean, I saw him suck that one in. Friend, friend, friend. Calm, calm, calm. I don't even know how many that is. I think at a certain point with panfish, you stop counting, right? So... We can just say I caught a lot of fish and had a good time. I put the camera down for a minute to smoke a cigarette and caught this absolute monster. I think it's safe to say my dad was right. There are some giant bluegill in here. I can't even get my hand around it. Look. Bad. I've never claimed to be good at this, let's be clear. In fact, I've frequently, frequently espoused how bad I am at all of this, right? Okay. So beautiful fish look at that it's probably just gonna all be a musical montage of me bringing up all these pan fish anyway so do -do 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 -do.
bigger guys as we fish out from shore more. Uh, it's been a great night, you know. I've gotten a lot of casting in. I found the big bluegill my dad was talking about. It's always cool to go fishing somewhere, you know, that you have, like, a history to. And especially when the bluegills are actually here and actually, you know, as big and voracious as my dad said they were. Super cool. Uh, but that's... Oh. Oh. oh, I lost it. You know, it's just cool. I like it. That's probably going to wrap it up, though. The sun's going down. We're having ourselves a good time. Uh, you know, if you like this video, or if you didn't, give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button. Uh... This has been MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching, guys.